This Twins game was absurd. Uh, benches cleared. We'll have some comments from Rocco in a little bit here, but let's get back to where it started. Nick Gordon hits a two-run double in the first inning, and good vibes for the Twins. You know, early on, getting some runs across. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it didn't end their way tonight, but Jake Cave made a beautiful diving catch here early, and then, honestly, one of the best defensive plays I've ever seen an outfielder make. He plays this carom perfectly. Pivots, throws a one hop on the money to Gordon at second. Go absolutely gorgeous. Jacques Cave, our boy. Beautiful. In the eighth inning, it's tied 2-2. Two to two. Max Kepler hits a ball the opposite way. Gets to second base in the error. Jose Miranda comes up with a hit and secret weapon off the bench. Billy Hamilton comes in to pinch run. He breaks on this pitch. Nick Gordon drives in his third run of the game. He drove in all three Twins runs. Kepler scampers in from third, so they manufacture a run there. One out, Billy Hamilton on second. He tries to steal third, and that was costly. Kind of basically ran out of this inning. Originally called safe, but got overturned. You'll like, like to see guys try to make plays and win games, but uh, unfortunately this didn't go their way. And Yasmani Grandal's like, that looked hard. You know, you got to hit the air, the other hit. You got, I'm just going to hit a home run. This is easy, easy way. Ties it up off the bar. And then in the ninth inning, stuff gets just crazy. Andrew Vaughn gets hit by a pitch. You know, nobody likes to get hit with 97 at the shoulder. Uh, but, you know, clearly, clearly, Jorge Lopez is not trying to hit a guy in the bottom of the ninth inning of a tie ball game. And the White Sox are very eager to get out of their dugout. And Rocco goes berserk. Absolutely. Uh, this, uh, he's losing it, man. Uh, it was great to see uh, him really coming out of his shell a ton. But see, cooler heads prevailed. Um, this game continued. There was a false walk-off in which Abreu got hit by a pitch, but it got overturned because it hit his bat knob. And then the actual walk-off here... Um, you know, Jorge Lopez clearly upset. Unfortunate, you know, it was a deflected ball, but Nick Gordon really could have got a lot more on this feed to Correa to try to turn a double play. There was maybe also a play at the plate, maybe without being able to see everything going on. But just un again, unfortunate. Could have been a potentially a double play ball. You're not going to blame Gordon, but um, you can, and in a game like this, there's a hundred things you can look back at like that and say, oh, if this would have happened. Sonny Gray came out of this game early with a hamstring injury. The bullpen was doing a good job. I didn't mind the order in which the bullpen was used with Duran Thielbar and then Lopez, but I didn't like this, that Duran only threw 11 pitches. Um, he was brought into the seventh to face the meat of Chicago's lineup, which is great, but I think he could have gone more. I think that sometimes just things play out. We give up a homer, and, um, you know, at the end, we get, we get a double play ball, and, uh, you know, it gets deflected. So I'm, I'm not sure what you can do about that. We're not trying to obviously hit anyone in that situation. We're trying to win. Um, I think he was upset. He was almost, you know, shaking his head, suggesting that, you know, he was hit on purpose. It's, you know, it's absurd. And then their whole team, staff and players, end up on our mound somehow. And uh, I don't like how that entire group ends up on our mound. Um, you know, approaching our pitcher like that. I, I thought that was wrong. Tough loss in the first game of that series at Chicago, but moving on to the minor league action. And for the St. Simeon Woods, Richardson was on the mound. He had a very nice outing, and this one was, uh, his velo was a bit down early, but it picked back up later on in this game. Tom hit 94, uh, but he again, he pitched very well. Take a look at Michael Hellman in the first inning here. He gets on with a single. Steal second base, and that's important to note because that is his 38th steal of the season. He's only been caught three times. That is a 92.7% success rate. That is bananas. Jermaine Palacios drives him home. I just kind of want to make sure to put the spotlight on Hellman there. But Woods Richardson, five innings, two hits, one run. It was an unearned run. Only one walk and three strikeouts. Uh, the Saints were down 10-2. to two. The bullpen really struggled. Uh, after Woods Richardson came out, they were down 10 to 2. They only lost 11 to 9. They really fought back in that one. A very impressive fight for them. Wichita, oh my goodness, this was the ugliest inning ever. Julian walks, Jair Camargo walks, Aaron Sabato walks. Um, this Cardinals double uh, A team was just struggling. Junior Severino hits an RBI single. Anthony Prado puts one in play that should have been an out at the plate. The catcher even thought he catches it. 
but he did not squeeze that one. Deshaun Kersey Jr. with a nice opposite field single through the infield to score two more. It wasn't over there. This was a six-run inning. And Austin Martin walks, which brings up Edward Julian again, who drills one off the wall that scores two runs. And I swear, he just he felt bad. He's like, this is the ugliest inning ever. I'm going to get you guys out of this thing and just run into this out at second base here. But Wichita won 7-2. to two. On to Cedar Rapids. Travis Adams had a really nice game for them on the mound. Going to mix in some Brooks Lee highlights at shortstop as well. Uh, but Adams, a 2021 sixth round pick out of Sacramento State. Uh, and he was pumping heat too. This is as hard as I've th- seen him throw. 96 miles per hour from Travis Adams. Six innings, five hits, one run, one walk, six strikeouts. And again, here's some Brooks Lee. Good, did a good job of staying in front of that one and got the out, but not the prettiest play you'll see as a shortstop make. Um, here's maybe a better one ranging across the infield to make this throw. Um, but back to Adams again. One run over six innings and six strikeouts. A guy who can really command it, throws a lot of strikes. Uh, pitched very well for Fort Myers earlier this year where he started the season and has been struggling a bit more since joining the Colonels, but he really seems to be settling in there and is looking very good. Again, had a great start here at Dayton that you're seeing highlights of here. And on to Fort Myers where we have video. So excited for that. Marco Raya. Um, I don't know that I have any uh, four-seam fastballs in here, but I saw him working 94-95. And here's a Noah Miller play at shortstop. Uh, but Raya's mid-80s slider was really an out pitch for him in this one. You know, and he didn't go real deep. Uh, three innings, one hit, no runs, two walks, five strikeouts in those three innings. Uh, you know, he just turned 20 last month, so he's been on a pretty restricted innings limit. Uh, but again, that mid-80s slider has been a great pitch for him. But then he also can command a low-80s curveball in addition to, to that, his four-seam fastball, his sinker, and that good slider. And when he brings in that curveball, it's such a uh, an even more of a change of pace for uh, hitters that Makes him look pretty silly. Keone Cavaco hit his ninth home run here, and it was an absolute bomb. Wow, these are bigger stadiums than usual in the minors in the Florida State League, which is part of why the run scoring environment is so low there. That's a big boy shot for him. His tools are still very impressive. Still hasn't put it all together, but uh, definitely good to see out of him. Here are the results. The Twins and Saints lose, but the Surge Colonels and Muscles all won. Thank you so much to all the members. There's a new video today that I shared some Uh, Fort Myers highlights from earlier in this week for all the members to check out. And if you're interested in joining, it is only $1.99 a month to join. And there's that button there. I'd appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching this video, though. We will talk again soon.